Hello friends, Clayton Phillips here from Woody's RV World in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. And I'm gonna shoot a fly through video on the all new 2020 Grand Design Imagine XLS. This is the 21 BHE. This is actually the very first floor plan that Grand Design developed in the XLS series. They've done some amazing things with the interior of this trailer, some uh, feature content enhancements, uh, those, all those sorts of things that we're gonna jump into. Um, but we're gonna spend a little bit of time on the build, the quality, the things that Grand Design does that really separates them apart uh, from most of the other manufacturers out there. And uh, we hope you find this video informative. I do talk lots. I'm gonna throw lots of detail at you. Uh, if you wanna jump inside, you know, just fast forward up to that spot and uh, we'll, we'll get on the inside. I shoot these unedited. Um, I don't, you know, take breaks or anything like that. It's just, we're gonna fly through it and give you as much detail as possible. I may not have all the answers for you, but. Uh, hopefully you pick something up in this particular video so uh, the Imagine XLS 21 BHE stands at 24 feet 11 inches in length from hitch to rear wall if there's a ladder that goes beyond that or a spare tire it will make the trailer a little bit longer but that's from the front coupler to the rear wall now what's nice about the XLS also not just in the length is the fact that it's actually shorter than your typical or your, your standard Imagine. This particular trailer measures out from the ground to the top of the air conditioner at 10 feet 5 inches in height. So if you have a garage or something, a shop or something you want to be able to back the trailer into, a lower door, you don't, you know, you want to get into the tighter smaller campgrounds with the tree branches that hang down a little bit lower, uh, this particular trailer will give you that lower, lower clearance which is nice and that's part and parcel because of the low profile uh, Coleman Mach 8 uh, air conditioner that they put on top and we'll, we'll jump up on the roof we're gonna go a little further on these walkthrough videos and I'm gonna start climbing up on the roofs of these trailers just to show you some detail up there and we'll spend a little bit of time on that but um, again grand design true to form when I think of grand design, I think of foundation, I think of structure, I think of all of the things that, you know, a lot of RV manufacturers are really good at making trailers look good, um, but grand design, they bolt, they build the value in, they don't necessarily bolt it on. And what I mean by that is there's a lot of things going on with their products that you can't see. And we'll spend a little bit of time on that. Um, radius front end, they don't put the front cap on it, but they do put the color aluminum up front. This is an 040 gauge aluminum skin, okay? So this is a much, much thicker aluminum. Why they do aluminum up front versus a radius fiberglass skin is just simply less chance of delamination. You see a lot of trailers in the industry that have a front fiberglass skin on them. And a lot of cases, if you get a moisture intrusion issue or those sorts of things, what will happen is you'll start to get a waviness in that fiberglass and that's where that Luon back starts to delaminate uh, from the fiberglass skin and it can really devalue your trailer you start to get mold and mildew building up inside grand design they put the aluminum skin the thicker gauge just like on the transcend so far less chance of uh, the delamination happening which is real nice uh, the graphics that grand design uses on all of their products folks uh, is a 3m graphic so it's a much thicker graphic it's got a higher UV coating on it which comes with a five-year warranty so they're spending the money on the graphics you know a lot of manufacturers that's where they'll cheap out and you know a year two years down the road your graphics are starting to crack up and roll up on you and so grand design trailers folks I'll tell you uh, we get the odd trade-in coming back in because people love their grand designs and they want to trade into something different and they look good many years down the road so uh, they're going the extra step okay pass-through storage compartments folks I'm gonna spend a little bit of time on this uh, because this is important this particular trailer has a Murphy bed inside okay the beautiful thing about this particular trailer is you get an unbelievable pass-through storage compartment okay with the enclosed utility center on the imagined products the reflections the solitudes even the transcends all come with this enclosed utility center which just helps protect your water utility on the trailer uh, you can fill up your fresh water tank through your city water connection just by flipping in this little blue lever here it's really really slick battery disconnect switch 110 power cord you got a porthole access here that you can run your fresh water line up through and keep your baggage door locked and closed now a couple things one grand design even you know a lot of manufacturers are gonna hold back and cheap out uh, we've seen a lot of them where literally the only thing that's locking your door is one keyed access you always have to have a key to open it grand design they do a triple lock I know it doesn't seem like much but they're going the extra step because they want to have that door secured not to mention you've got the magnet that holds this door up it's a taller door 
Again, no one for their pass-through storage compartments. In here, you have a dual motion sensor lighting. They radius the front wall here to give you added uh, pass-through storage compartment space. All aluminum tubing up inside, fully bead welded together. Very, very strong. Now, again, I'm gonna spend a little bit more time on this because there's a lot of products in the industry that have Murphy beds in them, and there's different styles of Murphy beds. The beautiful thing about a Murphy bed in a smaller trailer is you get added seating when the bed is in the up position. Okay, some manufacturers just build uh, permanent mounted beds, which eliminate the ability to have extra seating. A lot of the Murphy beds in the industry, folks, literally, when they, when they fold down, lost my paper there. Um, when they fold down, it literally that, that headboard of the, of the Murphy bed folds down into where your pass-through storage compartment would be on a trailer like this, greatly reducing the, the, the amount of storage that you have. And Grand Design has rectified that with their Murphy bed setup. I think they've absolutely nailed it. And we'll show you inside when we get into it. One of the things Grand Design does, folks, again, foundation structure, when I'm thinking of Grand Design, when they started their company, they were the first manufacturer to come out with a three-year structural warranty, okay? Some manufacturers have now followed suit with that. The difference between Grand Design and a lot of these other manufacturers, folks, is Grand Design builds their product to support the warranty, okay? And what I mean by that, every vertical wall in a Grand Design trailer fully laminated even your rear wall you look at a lot of products in the industry we're starting to see some of them going the way of grand design where they're laminating their rear walls um, but again there's a lot of things that grand design's doing that some still aren't doing one uh, you've got framed in window openings. So if you're to take that window out, there's an aluminum tube going around the perimeter of that window opening that's fully bead welded within the laminated panel of the, of the sidewall. Very, very strong. So that clampering window, when it bites down, it bites down onto something solid as opposed to just foam. We see if you take a lot of products, I have one video that's shot that kind of goes into a rear wall construction that one of the uh, you know other brands in the industry uses and there's no aluminum framing around the window openings. They don't stuff their aluminum tubing with wood dowels, okay? For people that don't know these things, I'll show you in behind this, uh, this, this cap here, you got steel screws, okay? So that's a steel screw. That screw drives into an aluminum tube. Okay, what Grand Design does is they um, stuff every aluminum tube that has out uh, fasteners that go into it with a wood dowel. Okay, and that's very important because it, a trailer's going down the road, it's flexing and it's stressing. Um, if you don't support a steel screw in a hollow aluminum tube, what will happen over time is that steel screw will wear the hole bigger in that aluminum tube because aluminum's softer than steel. Okay, we see that with a lot of trailers that have laminated roofs as well, where they use a wood decking up on top, and then they use, a, um, uh, even if they've got a, a, an aluminum truss and not a laminated roof, that steel screw going through the wood deck into a hollow aluminum tube, um, you'll start to develop squeaking and rattling, potentially, you know, moisture intrusion and all of those things. So Grand Design, again, is going the extra step, the extra mile with how they manufacture their products. Okay, um, also full walk-on roofs. We're gonna climb up there shortly uh, to show you what they got going up there because they've got some special things going on up there. One, notice the ladder on the back. Grand Design wants you to be able to access their roofs. Every single RV that Grand Design produces has a full walk-on roof and stand-on slide boxes so that you can climb up there, do some roof sealant touch-ups, sweep off the top of your slide if you, um, you know, have a slide out on your trailer. What's nice about this particular model for people that don't necessarily want to slide or they like to go to those tighter camping spots is this one doesn't have a slide okay so you know again slide outs are great they add a ton of space on the inside of the trailer people have had a lot of success with the slide outs but it is a moving moving item they are moved out with you know motors and pumps and you know those sorts of things depending on what slide out mechanism you have uh, there is a potential for failure there so for people that don't want to deal with those sorts of things this particular model might be right for you so we're just going to jump in on a couple of features here uh, this particular model has a full outdoor kitchen with the water port here okay so you can hook up your coil blue hose to this uh, have pressurized water on the entry side of your trailer your range top slides in you got some storage in behind of course the uh, the outdoor refrigerator there is going to be a barbecue quick connect down here as well 
So that's for the range to hook up to. If you have a barbecue you want to plug in there, portable fire pit, if there's a fire ban on, uh, you know, the, fire, the portable fire pits aren't subject to the uh, fire bans. Uh, so if you want to have a nice outdoor fire, you can do that with those portable fire pits. But what I love, I'm all about uh, campground ergonomics, if you want to call it that, or how you can set up your camp space. And one of the things I really like about this particular model is that where your door is located, you can set up a beautiful camping space. A lot of the trailers that have more centrally located entrance doors make it a little more difficult to set up a camping space. So you've got enough room here to be able to set up a, you know, pull an outdoor picnic table up underneath. You can lay out your patio mat, your outdoor kitchens off to the side, and your awning covers your entire uh, uh, camping space and your outdoor kitchen which is really really nice a couple other things people love to have a big window on the entry side of their trailer this is a bunk model so you can sleep an army of people in here so for mom and dad that want to keep an eye out on the for the smaller kids you got a nice big window with a dinette uh, for looking out into the camp space a couple other things you've got exterior speakers on this particular trailer they've got the nice accented blue light in there what's neat about this particular model is they're not countersinking the speaker into the wall so it's a small hole with the wire that goes through it as opposed to a great big uh, hole for the speaker to get countersunk into. What's nice about that, less chance of moisture intrusion. Uh, it's also a quieter speaker as well so that when you actually countersink that speaker into your sidewall when you're playing it, let's say the kids are in bed, you got the campfire going, you're enjoying the outside, um, it's gonna be you know less quiet inside the, the, the trailer, actually more quiet inside the trailer when the speaker's running as opposed to the countersunk uh, products out there. Um, the other thing, uh, Solera awning, there's a Lippert awning. Uh, what's neat about this one is that to put the tilt to the roller tube, you just simply pull down on this, this uh, arm here, and that's gonna put a tilt to the roller tube. So if it's starting to rain, uh, you can divert what way you want the water to roll off the awning. So if you want it to come off the back side of the trailer or the front side to roll out into the road, what have you, or if you just wanna create more shade because the sun's starting to drop down, you can see that roller tube tilted there. Uh, is really really nice so all right uh, running gear grand design uses the dexter running gear on all of their products okay so it's a dexter axle five-year warranty uh, they use the dexter uh, never adjust brakes easy lube hubs what's really neat about this hub folks is that you can do a full wheel bearing repack right in your driveway all you do is you lift the side of the trailer um, get the tires in the air there's a cap here you pull off um, and in behind this cap there's a sealed cap that you'd pull off and attach a grease gun to and the way it works is that as you're cycling the new grease in it's sending the new grease to the back of the hub it cycles it around the back of the hub and pushes the old grease out around the end of the grease gun there's a great video that dexter has done that describes this and goes into it with detail i encourage you to check that out uh, but again, you can save yourself hundreds of dollars doing a full wheel bearing repack right in your own driveway, which is really nice. They also use on their products in the Imagine lineup, the Westlake Lions Head Tire comes with a five year warranty, 12 months, no questions asked replacement. It's a solid radial tire. This is the 14 inch. So on the XLS series, they use a little bit smaller tire versus the full blown Imagine that has a 15 inch tire on it. Um, but again, radial tire runs real nice. They do include the spare on the back. Uh, so if you do have an issue with the tire, you can you know change it out, those sorts of things. I'm gonna shoot it up underneath the trailer as well. I haven't shot a video for a while, so I'm a bit rusty here, so I apologize. Fully enclosed underbelly. Couple things going on. Your gate valves to drain your tanks, folks, are all up inside the heated area. They're not exposed to the elements. You have an R30 through your entire floor as what Grand Design rates their, their floors for. Uh, and it's ducted furnace heat. It's not a radiant heat that you find with a lot of other products out there, okay? Um, the other thing you've got under here, folks, is you've got a T-handle uh, for your freshwater tank drain, which makes it really easy to drain and quick to drain. Uh, you're not having to crawl under there on, on your back to remove a, a cap off of a half-inch drain line. So your 43-gallon freshwater capacity, which is what this trailer has, uh, will drain exceptionally fast. So, and we'll shoot up here on the uh, pass-through storage here, giving you lots of space those sorts of things so new for this year you've got the uh, coax cable connection here 
So if you want to hook up an outdoor television, entertainment, you can definitely do that. Triple entry step that they do. Again, I always encourage customers to take a tape measure with you. Measure the width of the doors, the height of the doors. That's where some manufacturers will hold back. Uh, lend a hand, grab handle. A lot of manufacturers will cut that out to save cost. So Grand Designs go on the extra step. So uh, hot water heater is gas and electric in the Imagine lineups, folks. So 17.8 gallon quick recovery with gas and electric on at the exact same time uh, is key. So you can actually have a nice you know, quick shower, then somebody else can hop in right behind. Detachable power cord, LED uh, tail lights, marker lights, all of those things. I know I'm missing a bunch of stuff. I'd love to spend more time doing it, but I'm gonna stop the video right here. We're gonna hop up on top and uh, show you some key, uh, key items up on the roof. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we're up here on the roof of the uh, 21 BHE Imagine XLS. And I'm gonna point out a few things that Grand Design does that, you know, it's sometimes a lot more difficult to see the roof of a trailer when there's no ladder on the back. Uh, a lot of manufacturers you'll find, especially in the lighter weight models, they don't put ladders on the back. Two reasons, one, to save cost, uh, but also in a lot of cases, they don't want you necessarily walking up on the roof because they don't have walk-on roofs. If you have to do servicing on those types of roofs, you literally have to look for the stud to step on or lay sheets of plywood down, which makes it a whole lot more difficult. If you have a slide out model, you know, you wanna sweep off the top of your slide before you bring it in. And uh, in those non-walk roofs, it makes it a whole lot more difficult to, to do those sorts of things. So we're gonna start up front. I'm gonna point out a few things that Grand Design does. I encourage you, if you can, look on the roofs of trailers. Some manufacturers, this is where they hold back. Grand Design, if you notice, this is called, um, this is a self-leveling sealant uh, called Dicor. And it lays out, but you'll see that where there's the, uh, the fasteners, the screws, um, they're all covered, but they run a thick, thick bead over the entire molding. Okay, we've seen a lot of products in the industry, folks, where literally all they do is they run a, a bead along the edge of, the, there's a piece of aluminum under here that basically fastens the front wall to the roof. Um, and they'll literally run an edge along each side, a bead along each side, and then just cover up with the screw. Okay, Grand Design, they lay it on thick. Okay, because they don't want you to have moisture intrusion. They don't want you to have to, after a year or two, have to, you know, do a full seal replacement on your roof because it gets super expensive. Grand Design is going the extra step if you notice on their sealants, folks. Okay, this is where they win. Okay, the other thing, on this particular model, we talked about the air conditioner. This is a low profile air conditioner. This is the Coleman Mach eight plus okay and there's a few things going on with this air conditioner that makes it really really nice one it's a 15,000 BTU air conditioner yes 15,000 BTUs you can run it off uh, 30 amp service which is really really nice um, the other thing the running watts so you're between 1483 to 1811 running watts depending on where you're at if you're in a much hotter climate um, cooler climate that's kind of the the range of running wattage so what's nice about that is if you have a smaller generator that it's a little easier to move um, potentially a 2000 watt obviously ideal would be a 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter produces clean power those are the types of generators you want to be using on your rv don't use the cheaper generators um, doesn't produce clean power but with this Coleman Mach air conditioner super efficient the base of this air conditioner um, is a one-piece fiberglass unit and what that does is it enhances the durability of the the air conditioner it can take some road shock as well uh, plus it makes it a much quieter on the inside of the trailer and this is ducted uh, air conditioning through this roof as well of this trailer it's not a central unit which is really really nice and with that one-piece fiberglass base it makes it quieter on the inside and the overall height again they want to keep Keep the height under uh, 10 and a half feet to the top of the air conditioner and they achieve that uh, with this particular model. The other thing I mentioned, walk on roof. What I'm walking on is a material called, material called TPO and there's different grades of TPO on your roof folks. Grand Design uses what they call Alpha Super Flex TPO. It actually has an EPDM rubber compound that's worked within the TPO material, but it doesn't have some of the negative qualities that a typical EPDM roof has. What it does, what's nice about it, is it allows for some flexibility. So when they're rolling the TPO edge over top of the sidewall, 
wall. Uh, it makes it a lot easier for moisture to run off the roof. Um, it's more abrasion resistant than your standard EPDM rubber um, out there and it doesn't it's not going to chalk EPDM rubber it chalks so uh, and it's not really a product like full EPDM rubber roofs aren't necessarily used in the industry all that much anymore but different there's different grades of TPO and Grand Design is putting the TPO on there that the, the best TPO that they they can get on their roofs and it's the same TPO material that they use on the solitude on the reflection all of those products the other thing you have a 16 inch on center um, uh, wood truss roof which makes the roof very very strong fully walkable it's going to handle a snow load uh, the other thing that they do um, is they add attic vent to all of their trailers which really helps with the R value rating helps the roof of the trailer to breathe um, if you have a completely sealed roof, what can happen? Propane heat has moisture in it, heat rises, and you don't want moisture building up in your roof. So by doing that attic vent, it really helps that moisture, the trailer to breathe a whole lot better, cooler in the summertime, warmer in the, uh, the cooler temperatures, all of those things. So uh, again, you'll see Grand Design just going the extra, extra mile with their sealant. I know I've spent a ton of time on this, but a roof is a very, very important part of an RV and they're not all built the same. So buyer beware of that and uh, know what you're getting. So I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna jump back down and we'll jump inside. All right, friends, we're back on the 21 BHE. We've got uh, one thing I forgot to mention, the awning is a 15 foot awning. So fair size for a, a trailer uh, of this length. Uh, we're gonna jump up inside on this triple entry step. Couple other things we're gonna point out as we walk in, one, they utilize underneath the dinette to give you shoe storage on this particular model, which is really nice. And a lot of smaller trailers, especially bunk models, you know, you're packing a few more people with you. There's lots of shoes. They want to give you easy access to be able to tuck everything out of the way uh, in terms of shoes so you don't get that big mountain building up at the entryway. So again, coming inside this particular model, you're going to see right away, Grand Design has done just an absolutely amazing job with the new interior update. They've gone to a much lighter interior. Grand Design surveyed Facebook, RV owners everywhere. They don't take changes like this lightly. And when they do it, they put a lot of research and time to, de to deliver a product that is gonna look fantastic, that people are gonna like, and is gonna stand up the test of time. Um, you know, towards the back of the trailer here, you got a double over double bunk beds. I believe they're 76 inches wide. One of the updates that they did, I really like their curtain setup that they did. The curtain setup, you can see how easy the curtains move. Before it was a different track system. This is a, a, a metal track versus a plastic track uh, with a much easier to slide curtain. And why they went to that type of curtain is because kids can typically be hard when they're pulling on the curtains and the plastic one just didn't slide nearly as well and it would tear a curtain or it would pull the thing off the wall uh, those sorts of things so what's nice about this is it's a much easier to use curtain setup they do give you the the usb connection in the bunks um, of course the lights lots of windows uh, they've gone to a thicker bunk cushion which is really good again underneath here another usb connection here so you got a couple of kids, three, four kids. You can sleep them in here nicely, give them uh, access, power access to all of their devices. Extra storage uh, up underneath the uh, the lower bunk here. So if you got some totes or a doggy bed or you know something along those lines, that goes all the way back to that rear wall. So tons and tons of space to be able to uh, store your goods uh, inside the trailer. What's neat about the cabinetry, folks, again, it's a lighter cabinetry, very much a modern contemporary look. They've added the two-tone color look to it, which just really gives it a nice edgy design, very nice styling. The other thing that they did this year was they went to a two uh, uh, double-backed cushion. So they've gone to a nice style here, uh, nice plaid style, which looks good, you know, brightens up the interior. Or you can flip these cushions around and just go with the standard so it's you know less chance of staining and those sorts of things which is nice so depending on what you like uh, you've got some flexibility with that also uh, the tabletop in this is a massive tabletop you can actually get two place settings across from each other quite nicely uh, but the leg on this particular trailer this table doesn't mount to the wall it's not on the cheaper you know typical style legs that you see with a lot of other products that weeble wobble this is a very expensive leg but it's super super solid and you just flip both those levers there and that tabletop will push down there's a, a hydraulic strut inside that tube that you flip those levers back you lift and it will assist to 
lift that table right back up. So it makes folding down the bed really, or the table down into a bed really, really easy um, and back up really, really easy. The other thing they've added this year, folks, is they've gone to the MCD roller shades. So it's a true blackout blind, really easy to use. Um, they went away from the, um, the, the pleated shades, which the strings stretch over time. Um, and we're forever always having to loop back around that string to put tension back on those little buttons that get mounted to the walls, not to mention the buttons that typically get screwed in right here. Um, you know, they can pull out of the wall sometimes, uh, depending on what's going on. But, you know, really nice blinds that they've added to this, uh, to the new revision of the, uh, the Imagine. So one of my most favorite features of the Imagine XLS is the Murphy bed. And they've really enhanced the Murphy bed. They got a lot of pushback from their original bench that they developed. Um, and so they've gone to this rollover couch, which is really, really nice. It's got some nice styling to it. The flip down cup rest here in the middle. Uh, but we're going to demo this for you. But before we do, you've got a couple of nice big drawers here underneath the couch. Uh, which make it, you know, extra storage is nice. Around this bed, you've got four drawers, hanging storage, you know, extra storage over on this side. You can see the new hardware that they've added. Uh, they've done just a really nice job with the interior plugins everywhere with the Grand Design folks. Um, they're not holding back like some out there, but this particular couch, it just rolls over. Super easy. So that's what it looks like when it's rolled over. And what's nice about this, unlike some Murphy beds in the industry, some of the Murphy beds have a leg here that kind of flips out as the bed drops. And we've seen it depending on if it comes down too hard or what have you, where it's literally punctured the floor. Uh, Grand Design wanted kind of like a, a, an unsupported bed, but it's supported um, without having the foot on the ground. So what happens is um, the base of this, of this couch, it's folded down, that's what supports the bed. Um, Grand Design has also to give structural rigidity and they've done this since day one. The platform that the mattress sits on, this is a two inch uh, platform. It's laminated, aluminum framed, super strong and insulated just like your sidewall. So it makes for a super, super strong bed platform. So you can jump up on this bed. You know, I'm almost 200 pounds and I'm sitting on the end of this bed bouncing up and down and, and uh, there's it's not cracking it's not breaking it's super super strong i'll just show this to you so you can see what that bed platform looks like so again fully laminated aluminum framed fully bead welded aluminum tube or uh, insulation in there very very strong the other thing that they've done with their mattress is that it hinges but they've designed it so that you can put your bedding on and leave your bedding on without having to take your bedding off which makes utilizing a Murphy bed so much easier. Some of the Murphy beds in the industry, you literally got to, in order to fold up the mattress pads, because they come in three different sections, you literally got to take your bedding apart and put it all away to have your couch when the, the platform flips up. With Grand Design, they've developed it to where you still get that unbelievable pass-through storage. You ha have the ability to leave all of your bedding on your bed without taking it off, and you get a beautiful seating spot. But you can see all blue lighting, uh, up in here, these lights are blue too, so you got the reading lamps as well. We'll just slide in here, okay? And the blue light can be turned on, on and off with this switch here. So, the other thing, this bed is a residential size bed, so it's 60 wide, 60 inches wide by 80 inches long. So your regular fitted sheets are going to go around it. It's not a, a shorty. Uh, queen size bed that you see with a lot of other products in the industry. So they're really going the extra step. 78 inch interior ceiling height. So, you know, if you're tall, you're six foot two, six foot three, six foot four, you've got room to walk around in here. The other thing they did was the original XLSs had a central air conditioner. They've now gone to the ducted air conditioning, which circulates the air through the roof into your bathroom, uh, into the, if you got the beds enclosed, that sort of thing inside the trailer, you're going to get more even, you know, cool, you know, air, AC distribution throughout the roof. Plus it's a lower profile. So, you know, if you're a taller person, you're not banging your head off that lower AC unit uh, on the interior. So again, tons of counter space, thermal foil countertops, ball bearing drawer glides. I'm getting real long with this video. So I apologize for you people that like to be in a hurry. Um, still love you watching our videos. Subscribe, click the bell uh, for the notifications. We're going to step up our video, video uh, uh, shooting here as well. So uh, single base and sink. Grand Design toyed with the idea of going with a split sink. The nice thing about the single basin sink, folks, is that you can actually hide a dinner plate in it. 
uh, the split sinks make it a little bit more difficult to do that. If you don't want to use as much water to do your dishes, just get a Rubbermaid container and put it and use it for half and um, keep that underneath your cupboard and, and away you go. So real nice setup, pull down uh, faucet. Furion oven and range with the blue lighting, uh, stainless steel microwave, all up in the, insert, up, all up in the inside of this trailer. Uh, and then one of my favorite spots, oh, you got a dual pantry here as well. So no heat ducts on the floor in this particular product, folks. This is a laminated floor built just like the sidewall. It's a double stacked plywood seam staggered. So when they laminate it, it makes that whole floor one piece, super strong, uh, more lightweight, all those things, but no heat ducts in the floor for dirt and debris and all of those things to go down into in your floor. They poured all of your heat out through the heat ducts, through your cabinetry, okay? And you get a 25,000 BTU furnace with this small trailer, which is huge. So your, uh, your trailer is going to heat up quicker. It's not with the R values. R40 through your roof is what they rate it for. Down your front cap, R7 in your sidewall, R30 through your floor. Industry leading R values in this particular series of trailer compared to the others out there. And that 25,000 BTU furnace is going to heat up uh, the inside of this trailer real fast. Uh, which is really, really nice. But uh, again, the dual pantries, double-sided uh, entrance doors, residential size uh, style doors, real heavy door, nice and solid. Notice there's no gap. This is where some manufacturers will cheap out. They'll do a big gap between the top of the, the door and the roof, and then they'll shorten the door. Right? Smaller door, less material means less cost. Grand design, that's a full like framed in residential style door. Like it's super solid. Okay, uh, going inside, porcelain foot flush toilet, um, counter space, storage, all of the things that Grand Design does. Lots of visibility with the window, brightens up the interior of your bathroom. You got this beautiful towel rack here. You can roll up your towels, stack them in there. Got the Nautilus retractable shower door. What's really nice about this, folks, is that if it, after you're done showering, when you retract your shower, it actually squeegees off the shower or the, the, the enclosure and it runs back down into the shower pan draining out. So unlike a curtain that'll shrink wrap around you, um, all sorts of things. So again, lots of counter space in this particular model. Stainless steel sink, lots of storage. I'm gonna jump in the shower here just to give you a better shot of this. So tons and tons of storage, lots of counter space. And then you've got your medicine cabinet. It's not just a mirror screwed to the, to the wall, folks. You've actually got shelves inside. The other thing, look for light switches inside the trailers you're looking at, folks. This is not an entry-level trailer. There are a lot of trailers out there um, that are less money than this. And one of the things they do is light switches. Literally, we carried a product. We don't carry it here anymore, um, where the only light switch was at the entrance door and it activated two lights in the living room of the trailer. So in a bunk model trailer, you got little people sleeping. Well, if the only way to turn your light on is by pushing the button on the bottom of the light, you literally got to stand on the toilet if they're tall enough to push the button. In Grand Design, they put light switches everywhere, plugins everywhere. They want the trailer to be easily used by the smaller people, the little kids, all the way up to adults, giving you lots of space and headroom and all those things. So. <clears throat> Again, my name's Clayton Phillips. I'm with Woody's RV World in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. We have five locations in Alberta to serve you better. Uh, we've got a new dealership in Saskatoon. We've got a new dealership coming in Abbotsford. We're here to take care of you. Our mission, to enhance lifestyles by providing leading edge products supported by a team of professionals committed to exceeding our customers expectations. Our goal folks is to come alongside you. We want to educate you. We want to provide an unbelievable service. Check out the reviews on the RV products. Check out the dealer reviews folks. We're not all the same. Our commitment to the RV industry is a little different than some dealers out there. You notice pavement at our lots. You notice brick and mortar. You've got unbelievable facilities so that when you drop your RV off here to get service work done, um, you know, we're not on a gravel lot covered in mud and those sorts of things. So we've been around for over 30, you know, close to 35 years. And that's all we do is RVs. So if you're looking for an unbelievable experience, if you can't make it down to Woody's RV Leduc, uh, check out one of our other locations. You will be supported by an amazing team throughout Western Canada. And we're here to take care of you. So our phone number here at Woody's RV World Leduc, 780-986-1234. This concludes our walkthrough video of the 2020 redesigned 
Imagine XLS 21 BHE. For those of you, I apologize if I talk too much, uh, but hey, we're here to help you and uh, take care of you. So thanks for your time. Happy camping.